Welcome back to the Lego Man Cave. We have got a new addition, and no, I don't mean the building. I mean this little thing here. Oh my god, it is epic. So let's get the video started. So I've seen somebody with this set on Facebook, and I thought, yes, that is epic. So I'm now having a look through all the parts. Seeing what I've got, okay, for start off I haven't got a 16 long so I'm going to have to see if I can kind of make shift it. But if I can make a few delivery trucks, this is wicked. I mean, I'm an Iceland driver, so it would be nice to have one of those. But we've got a little Lego shop with that massive Lego truck. So I'm thinking if I can make a smaller Lego truck and then we've got an Asda. Just down there, which means I could do an Asda delivery truck. Okay, so that's what it's supposed to look like. I have actually got some Lego stickers on their way. This is what I've ended up with. I've only got red in the bonnet and the roof. I've only got red in that size, not yellow. And I'm not stealing from that van. But... However, I say that, I've changed this wall here so that I've got some doors because it had doors on both sides and I've put the wall from there to there and then just put some bricks there because you're not going to see it anywhere. Same as it's supposed to be on this, it's supposed to be these walls, but I haven't got any in yellow. So that is the large Lego truck, which I've customed to right hand drive for the uh, left side of the road drivers in the UK just like I've done for this one as well so once I've got some stickers these will look absolutely epic and I'm going to see how many more of these I can actually build and now here it is in the city looking absolutely sexy now I know the roof the uh, cab roof and the bonnet are supposed to be yellow but still, I think that looks awesome. And then also, if we come over here, my Lego truck, I've put a Lego sticker on as well now. That is also already a right-hand drive for the left-hand side of the road in the UK. And I've made that one the same way. When it comes to my big new Mac, I want to see what else I can do with this just to bring it up a little bit more. Obviously, I need to build the base and tile it off. Uh, I've got some more straight road plates coming, so I might have to sort out a couple of these plates. I know I've tiled it all, which is going to annoy me, but at the same time, it will look a hell of a lot better. And then we've also got some 16 by 16s coming which will fill in those gaps. I've got to decide what I'm building there. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit more to the park and maybe extend the park out this way, but I'm not sure how I'm going to do this bit yet because obviously I've got no green tile. Looks a bit silly as white because obviously, you know, we're not snowing. <laughs> but at the same time, We've got some green over here, so we could always take that green up and put some grey down or white down or something else over that side to either be tiled over or just figure it out as we go along. And I'm not going to be this video, but I've, as I said in, I think, the last one or the one before, I finally got the parts to start the second floor of Asda. Now, as I've managed to do that one, and as that is the only supermarket I have in my village or my city, which is, well, whatever you want to call it, I'm thinking that my Asda might get its own delivery truck soon. But the problem with that means that it needs access to the road. Plus, as it stands, I have no houses. So the only Asda truck, I suppose, would be to deliver stock to Asda. So, again, not in a massive rush for that, but at least I know I can build them. So, if I build them, the rest of it can soon follow, and then they can soon sit up on this shelf. This shelf is now going to be my vehicle shelf, maybe. I've got the Lego lorry up here. 
I've got Ghost Rider's car up here. I'm going to be leaving the Batman stuff up there. I can move those over, I suppose. They're classed as cars. And I've got cars in here, which I'm not going to be using. Uh, I could even put my construction crew up on the shelf as well. Clears a bit more uh, boxes. I've still got this tray that I've got to put in all of these. That might get done in this video. We'll soon find out. But yeah, we are making progress. Okay, I think the first thing I'm going to do, because I wanted to do it in the last video, but I didn't get a chance to, is I'm going to pull the park out so I don't keep knocking everything over. This is the reason I don't like putting trees up too soon, because you just keep knocking them over when trying to do all the bits and finalise. But the trees were just placed there just so it looked the part, not just plain and boring. But I think I'm going to take the park out. I'm going to work on this area here. I think I'm going to keep that there. But at the same time, I also need to contemplate where the uh, X mansion is going to go as and when it comes. That probably won't be till the new year because I've got to build up birthday and Christmas money and then top up with any wages. Plus paying all the bills and everything else to be able to afford it. So how soon we'll get that, I don't know. The beach area, as I say, that might end up going eventually because that's where I want to put the X mansion. So I'm wondering whether I should move that and have Asda more in that corner, especially as it's going to get built up. But I'm still playing around with the idea at the moment. I'm thinking if this is going to be a park area and like a little resort area, the park would be better suited over this side, but it's just a whole lot of effort because there's four, yeah, four 32 by 32 plates there. That would mean a whole lot of moving around over here because these are both 48 by 48. So that is for another time. At the moment, I'm going to focus on this. I think. I don't know if I've got enough bits to make a back just to flatten it off. I'm not going to bother with interior. It looks good from the outside anyway. But I think I'm going to finish this off, put it down, take these up, put them over here, put the green over here, extend this park out to this area, and then we'll go from there. So this is where I've got to so far. The road plate that I've stripped, I've put in a tub. And the same there, there, and there. And now I even have, where have I just put it? I've got a mills plate empty. I've moved the building for now so I can get that sorted because that's the next on my to-do list. Right, so I've brought it over to my workstation along with the pool hall and the hairdressers. So... Let's see how I get on. Okay, so we're back a short while later. And you can already see a massive difference. But before I start on that, that extra mills plate that I thought I had, I completely forgot. It's not extra because I'm going to need the actual mills bit to put the road plate on. So I have gained a whole lot more black plate and... Well, big plates and little plates, shall we call it? So, here we go. I have completely transferred. I've decided to leave it open back because I really can't be bothered with messing around with all that. Plus, you're not going to spot it anywhere. More time, the angle will be this side. I might eventually try and put a few bits in there, but I'm not in a rush. But either way, fills up that gap lovely. I've got a little sand play pit and a little climbing frame. Now, I have got these ideas of somebody on Facebook, which I fell in love with them. But I've kind of done very similar, but my own little twist. I've already got a slide. So instead of putting a slide on the end, you have got ladders going up three out of the four sides. So they can just basically climb up either way and then climb down. Just a random little thing. But I've added the tree in, redone all the pathwork, knocked over 
the newspaper box. Hey, there you go, back up. Uh, redone all the pavement. Uh, redone over here. So the brown plates that was underneath that are now over there and some of the white. But eventually you won't see that anyway because it will all be tiled. Uh, I've got, oh yes, we got the big tree over here which can be put back together just like that so eventually that will all be tiled and sorted out anyway I don't care if it looks odd at the moment it's just gap fillers so now what are the little easter eggs right yeah I've finished filling in the gaps here for the people to stand same as over here that's because I've run out of pieces I have used them out of there so I think I'm kind of robbing Peter to pay Paul, but is what it is. And then I've moved the hot dog stand over to here. So anybody that comes round goes to there, can get their hot dogs. Uh, what did I do? Oh, the popcorn I've moved over to here. So you can come out the train station, you can get a coffee or popcorn. Over here, you can come out the train station, you can get a cup of coffee, or you can just go to Asda. So there's no point having extra over there. I have got the slushy thing there. So we've got the slushy truck there, we've got the smoothie bar inside Asda, and we've got the pizza delivery. Move that. It looks so much better when it's open. But again, you know, that will be coming up a level or two. I don't want to mess around and i'm not going to rush it because i want to make sure i get it looking at least half decent plus being an asda got a lot of the green yeah that's something i haven't got <laughs> if i show you now over here pull my green out that is literally all the green i have to work with i don't even have any normal plate it's just all odd shapes. I've even run out of normal green on the one by plate. So we'll put that back there. It is running low on a lot of the colours. I've still got a lot of the colours, just not enough of the parts to actually do anything. Again, with this part, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to finish it. I think I might just leave it exposed because it looks different. It's not like it's going to rain in the garage. And it can be a permanently sunny city. So my next target is to kind of build a big area down here. So that will then sit on top of the big area, which will have the entrance, obviously. And then all the rest around it will be tiled off. So you can have pathways to get round. Uh, what's next? Yeah, so the only thing left is to wait for the new row plates to come. Uh, one, two straights, two bends, and then that's the roads done. I've just got to retile them all after they've uh, arrived. I don't think I'm going to mess with anything else yet. There's always going to be changes. We all know this. If you've been following the channel, you'll notice there is a lot of things that are constantly changing. One thing I will change probably eventually is the skate park. But at the same time, when the new road plate comes, obviously it'll come. The, pa the pavement will come out a lot more, so I won't be too fussed about that. It's a bit of an odd placement, but where else am I supposed to put it? But for now, I'm going to leave it there. I'm pretty happy with it all. Uh, actually, no, I'm not going to leave it there because before we go, I'm going to move some of the vehicles onto the shelf so we can see what that looks like. And just like that, it's done and very full already. So we've got a massive parking garage there by the looks of it. Turn my flash on so you can see. We've got Ghost Rider, Avengers, a couple of Spider-Mans, Police and Jeep which you pull back and it razzes forwards. Uh, Gotham City uh, Bank, we've got the Ecto and we've got the airport little tuggy which came with that tower and Ant-Man. Still got my Celestial in the back and a random buggy. Then I've put all the Leviathan and the Shatari up here. Loki's big gold dragon next to that dragon. 
A couple of extra ships going on to here. I've moved all the construction crew up here. So that looks awesome. And then I could only fit that one, no, them two little ships up there, but even still, they don't look great. Uh, little dragon on top, put that one and that one back up. But yeah, slowly but surely, we are getting there. I don't know if anybody noticed, I've added Lego for the Lego Man Cave. Oh yeah. And on that note, we're going to leave it there. So thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, drop some comments, let us know what you think. Share the video, spread the word, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.